able to go through the immigration system and now they're U.S. citizens and are civically engaged so that their voices are also heard. And they have been able to raise five kids, five kids that are all contributing to our local economy, to, that are all contributing to make making this place a better place for all of us. Talk to your leaders, get engaged in the kids' schools, get engaged. The thing that we need to do is to look at the policies. Como ya dijo César, necesitamos más. Las leyes que están aquí no son suficientes ahorita. Necesitamos que, que el alcalde nos prometa que va a declarar la ciudad de Fresno una ciudad de santuario para cada una de nuestras personas. In a day where our president is continuing to try to poison our communities with fear and division. And in a day where our local government responds by saying that money is more important than human life. Porque estamos aquí listos para luchar con ustedes, ¿ok? Porque como les dije a mis amigas ayer, ustedes lo valen. Ustedes valen la pena por esta lucha y sus hijos valen la pena por esta lucha. Se lo merecen. So I bet some of you guys wish you would have watched some more Dora the Explorer, huh? <laughs> Today everyone gathered out to, to uh, tell our Mayor Lee Brand that Fresno deserves to be a, a, a sanctuary city. My name is Jaime Chavez. I, I believe that no human is illegal and everybody I know has, is a hard worker. Nobody comes to this country um, to commit bad actions. Everybody comes here to, you know, to find a, a solution, to find the progress, to be better people and support their family. When someone comes from some other country, they're looking for the um, opportunities that are best for them. I hope that today tells Lee Brand that Fresno deserves to be a sanctuary city. I was actually really surprised. I was not expecting this much uh, mobilization for it. Uh, I was honestly just expecting to have a few groups, uh, maybe even just my friends, and standing with our neighbors and saying, we see you, we stand with you. Um, but thankfully, I'm, I, I'm seeing that, that if this is a small hope of the fight that we're going to be able to give in the next, these next few years, I'm, I'm really excited for Fresno because I mean, we, we put this together, and it was not just me, it was a, a group of leaders that helped put this together and organize it, but it was a matter of two days. Especially because of the relationships that I have with um, so many individuals that are undocumented. And uh, I think there's just like such a false perception of who undocumented people are. You know, like, they're not criminals, but they're also not victims, like you saw. Like, we have so many strong moms that are like organizing and like just doing great work in their communities. So we need to acknowledge that they're not just here benefiting, they are actively participating in our society. So um, I'm just, it's, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking and it's infuriating to see the kind of rhetoric that our presidency is trying to uh, tell about our undocumented uh, community and also our Muslim brothers and sisters.